Live from Case at 12. Good morning, San Antonio starts right now. Good morning. It's Wednesday, January 29th. Thank you so much for being with us this morning, everybody. Hopefully you got to stay warm and have a hot cup of coffee. It's nice and chilly outside this it, morning. It is. It's really, I stepped out in the front yard between newscasts and uh, it's downright chilly. You see what I have on my calendar for this morning? Order wings. Order wings. Yes. I and that's make not sure. for today. That's to order wings for Super, Super Bowl, Bowl Sunday. That's right. We have an article on KSAT.com. From burritos to booze, here's what locals ordered the most during last year's Super Bowl. Well, how, according to Postmates, um, we took home the most spirited crown. We spent the most money per order on alcohol during last year's big game. Of any other U.S. city, people. That, um, they like to imbibe, apparently, around here. Yeah. So they also found that um, San Antonians ordered more than 600 dozens of donuts from Dunkin' Donuts. That sure Let's did. talk about the food. Yeah, so here's the most popular food items ordered on Postmates Super Bowl last year. We're going to run through the top three, not only on Postmates, but on Favor and also DoorDash. on DoorDash, yeah. which I love DoorDash. I do, too. Boy, they're my best friend. All right, so um, Postmarks. Postmates, sorry. Build your own plate from Panda Express, number one. Number two is the chicken burrito bowl from Chipotle. Number three is the Caniac combo from oh, Raising Cane's Chicken Fingers. I love their chicken. God, that's awesome. Favor the top three things ordered uh, Super Bowl. Number one was beer and wine from HEB. How about that? Burgers from Whataburger. Wings from Hooters. And then we go to DoorDash. Their top three items. Burrito. Uh, cheeseburger and fries. And buffalo. Yes, buffalo wings. Yes. So that's an idea. Again, though, most alcohol delivered mm -hmm. by food delivery service of any city in the country, San Antonio, Texas, last Cheers year. Cheers to you, my <laughs> friends. Let's take a look at your rundown. <laughs> Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell and the GOP senators met behind closed doors after President Trump's legal team ended their opening arguments. In the meantime, Democrats continue to push former National Security Advisor John Bolton to appear under oath. Major development in the Kobe Bryant helicopter crash investigation. A new recording has surfaced that appears to capture the moment of the crash. It comes as investigators reveal new clues about what went wrong. The Pentagon reports 50 military personnel are suffering from traumatic brain injuries following Iran's retaliation missile attack on U.S. forces. According to a Pentagon statement, 32 of those service members are back on duty after treatment. A teacher at a Florida daycare has been fired for using a marker to write on a toddler. The boy's mother says her one-year-old son came home with this message scrawled across his torso. A charter airliner with hundreds of Americans who evacuated from China has now landed here in the U.S. Travelers will be rescreened for the coronavirus and hospitals prepared to treat those who may be infected. The Texas Historical Commission asking for more time to review the city's request to move the cenotaph. The monument sits at the Alamo, previously approved to be relocated a few hundred feet away. Vermont may soon allow drivers to include emojis on their license plates. A bill in the state legislature would let drivers pay extra and choose from one of six emojis. But the bill doesn't say which six. DiGiorno is making a bet the Super Bowl Sunday. The frozen pizza the brand says if at any point in the game the score is 3 to 14 or 14 to 3, DiGiorno will give you free pizza. If you can't get enough Lucky Charms in Cinnamon Toast Crunch in the morning, here is a new option. You could have them for dessert as ice cream. A very shocking discovery inside a couch in Kansas. The owners found a seven foot boa constrictor in the cushions. And they say it could have been in the couch for weeks or even months. <laughs> I, I'd be moving. I, w I would. I would move. Our right? producer, I, just, I would just move. Our producer Oriana just said, "Burn down the whole house." Mm -hmm. You just don't want to deal with it, Oriana. No. Anything like that? Yeah. No, I don't blame so you. So there's, you know, you find all sorts of stuff in the couch. I don't mind finding, you know, change, a quarter, change it. You don't want to find snacks, a boa constrictor. Couch pizza. No. That kind no. of thing. You sofa pizza. Yeah. The, remember the Hangover? Yeah, but Alan. I didn't think you would actually have sofa pizza. Uh, not me. No. Probably. It's not your probably, personality. No. You're you're absolutely right about that. Yeah. He's, very neat. Let's take a look outside with live cam. Uh, how would you feel about finding a boa constrictor in your couch? Well, I have questions naturally. Uh, the boa constrictor, they're not natural to Kansas. So my question is, how did it get there? Was it? They're thinking it must have been a pet of somebody's, um, maybe nearby, and it escaped and ended up in their house window? and then in their couch. That's awful. And it could Absolutely. have been there for a long, long time, they said. Oof. No Eating good. the couch pizza. <laughs> Couch pizza, too. Uh, <laughs> outside right now, we've got uh, 47 degrees. It's a chilly morning. We've got some gusty winds, so it feels a little bit chillier than that. 
the wind chills will stick around for another hour or so, and then we're going to warm up pretty significantly this afternoon. And right now, dew point is at 34. We do still have a pretty stout north northwesterly wind at about 16 miles per hour. So there you see it, the wind chill is down to 40 here in town. And the wind chills around the area generally in the 40s and even 30s. 33 Kerrville is what it feels like. 32 in Fredericksburg, 44 year current wind chill in Del Rio. Pollen count shows mountain cedar has jumped back up into the high category. I suppose that's not a big surprise because we got the northwesterly winds yesterday. Mold, though, also high at 1300. We've got a little bit of ash out there. Forecast for today, lots of sun, still some breezy winds. Winds will calm a little bit this afternoon and tonight up to 65. But tomorrow, much different. Cloudy, a chance of rain and cooler. We'll talk about that coming up in just a few minutes. Guys. Despite a relatively uh, clear morning out there weather wise, we've had an eventful morning commute. Heavy traffic inbound there at 10 where the split comes back together. 10 and Frio. Some sunshine coming right at your lens. Well, top stories that we're following for you today. We're still waiting to learn the name of a 76 year old woman who was beaten to death according to police by her son overnight. Yes, uh, police say the uh, Balcones Heights police rather are still looking for the suspect identified as 55 year old Michael Wayne Kerbo. And police say the incident began around seven last night at the Spanish Key Apartments in the 1100 block of Babcock, not far from Hillcrest and 410. Officers received a call from the woman asking them to help her kick her son out of the apartment after they got into an argument. When officers arrived, Kerbo had already left. Police say around 11 p.m. they received another call, this time from a friend of Kerbo, requesting a welfare check on the woman. Officers arrived and found the victim badly beaten. She was pronounced dead at the scene. This morning, San Antonio police asking for your help locating a missing 82 year old woman. She was last seen in the 12,500 block of Paloma Trail, which is on the northwest side. So take a look at this picture, everybody. They are looking for Rita Brown. She has gray hair and brown eyes, typically wears her hair in a ponytail. Brown was last seen driving her white 2019 Buick Encore license plate LWN 7486. If you know where she is, call the SAPD Missing Persons Unit 207-7660. And this morning, the San Antonio River Authority will be doing a prescribed burn along the Mission Reef section of the San Antonio River Walk. Closures along the trail will be in effect during the day, and staff will be redirecting people in the area. Here are a look at five areas scheduled for the burn. It's in conjunction with the San Antonio Fire Department, Bear County, and the National Park Service. For more information and a closer look at this map, go to ksat.com. In your morning headlines, President Trump is putting pen to paper for historic signing today. The Caribbean people still shaking after an earthquake as well. And a man holding on to a car for dear life. Another rescue caught on body cam. David Sears joins us live in the studio. We've been Hi, taking David. care of, uh, we've been taking, uh, uh, what was, I don't know what I was What are you saying? Something about the Caribbean? No, something about body cams. Oh, yeah, yeah. The advantage of the body cam. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Been in the news a lot in the last couple of years, hasn't it? Yeah. It's early. All right, good. <laughs> Thanks for that excuse. Hey, <laughs> a big political achievement for the president and for many workers here in the United States. Today, the president will sign the new USMCA trade agreement. It replaces NAFTA, the trade agreement that has been in effect for the last 25 years. The new agreement designed to be helping more American auto industry workers and help improve labor standards. It will also help the American farmer, among other things. President Trump will sign the new agreement during a White House ceremony. It'll be attended by members of Congress, along with farmers and auto workers. And since this is happening in the middle of the impeachment hearings, there will not be any Democrats invited to the ceremony. Mexico has already ratified the agreement. Canada expected to ratify it in a couple of weeks. The Caribbean islands not so calm for residents and visitors. The video shows what happens when a 7.7 .7 earthquake hits that area. People scramble to get out of buildings and get to the street. School children evacuated from their classrooms. Shelves coming down inside stores. Waves created in outdoor pools. There was a tsunami threat for a couple of hours. There was also some damage, but so far doesn't appear to be major and there are no reports of injuries. The quake felt 400 miles away in Miami, home of the Super Bowl this weekend, but so far no problems there either. Video of the day. Hold on for this one. Literally, we are in a parking lot in Houston next to a food truck, a little fender bender. Guy in the red car is an Uber Eats driver who stopped to get tacos out of that taco truck right there gets out of the red car and starts to walk around the gray car that just hit him he wanted a picture of the car and then the driver just takes off the guy ends up on the hood and he's holding on for dear life you can see in this surveillance video get on the hood and then watches it heads down the street 
He ended up falling off that car about a block away. He is in critical condition. A convenience store owner saw it all. So they got a little argument. They don't want to give it to the insurance information to each other. And he's tried to run away or something. The victim is Masin Jihani. Uber tried to reach out to him. The police are still looking for the driver of that gray car. And finally, you're looking at a woman who fell off a dock into an icy Lake Michigan. The water temperature, 36 degrees. Now, this is police body cam video again. Apparently, her friend and two other fishermen couldn't get her out of there. They called 911. By the time first responders got there, she'd been in the water for about 15 minutes. Her body completely numb. But as you see, they were able to pull her out and get her on the dock and warm her up. And she's okay. Well, what the wow. heck? I don't know if you caught any fish or not, though. <laughs> David. 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 <laughs> that video, though, of the guy holding on to the that? car, that's very What's disturbing. That? Well, that is incredible. And I'm disturbing. sure police will tell you, don't do that. Don't, just no. Let him go. Walk away. We'll find him later. Just take a picture so. of the car. It was and just a bring little it fender bender, too. Yeah. Like something major. Things escalate quickly. Yeah. David, thank you. Thanks, David.